Hello, it's Mr. Britton from Britton Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to buy an item from a store. So what I've got here is a uh, store and if I click on this little potion you'll notice that I now have one potion down here. If I click it again I have two. My score goes down so I'm buying it. I can buy as many as I'd like. So as long as I've got enough money, I can continue to buy these things, and I can do it for all these other items as well. But I'm going to show you how to do the the simple one now, the health potion. So here's how I did it. The first step that I did was I had to create some variables, and so I added an object called controller variables, and I added a create event, and in the action I set up a variable called global dot hp pots and give it an equal a value of zero. So this says that when the game starts I don't have any potions. And the reason I put global in is, is so that I can use this variable in multiple objects. After I did that I created a, an object called object by HP pots and in this object I created a in the create event I added a variable called active so that when the mouse enters it it's active as one. When it leaves, active as zero. Uh, that way, when I press it, and I'm actually this basically buttonizes this. So when I press this, uh, it first checks whether it's active or not. So it's active only if the mouse is inside of the object sprite. Then it'll check to see if you have enough money to buy the particular object. So it checks the score if it's larger than 500. Then it'll do these two things. It'll set your variable global.hppots to one relative so it gives you one more uh, of the potions and then it subtracts 500 from your score and that's it that's how you can buy an object from a uh, from a store and if you have any more questions be sure to check out my YouTube channel thank you